the heated debate concerning the probable outcome of the presidential petition has continued to elicit diverse opinion across the political scene. <laughs> While addressing a section of MCAs from Bungoma County, NASA Corps Principal and Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula insisted the 2017 presidential petition will be a historical one since majority of Kenyans are disappointed with the results announced by IEBC. This is a case like no other. We are going to, we can't institutionalize rigging and theft of elections in the country. The clarion call from the NASA principle being that the Supreme Court will determine the case fairly since they have valid evidence of major discrepancies in the electoral process. Otherwise, if we now want to have computers electing people in this country, then uh, there's no point going to elections. And if we don't go to elections, people can easily look for alternative but very discomforting ways of changing leadership. A section of ODM MPs led by the party chair, John Mbadi, accused the Jubilee regime of intimidating judges and interfering with their free will. We ask Jubilee to set our courts free. We ask Jubilee to set our courts free and stop the intimidation of judges. The Suba MPs accuses Jubilee of beating the country into silence and downplaying their role in democracy by alleging that the presidential battle is between Jubilee's Uhuru Kenyatta and Nasser's Raila Odinga. It is not the battle between Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga, but a, a, the battle between candidate Uhuru and the people of Kenya. The, the ODM leaders are expected to hold a night vigil on Thursday to hold prayers ahead of the Supreme Court hearing so as to pray for justice. We will assemble here at Orange House to pray for justice and an end to the culture of electoral theft that is taking root in our society and country. Our supporters elsewhere, outside Nairobi, are encouraged to equally assemble and offer prayers for justice wherever they are. The common mantra for them is that they won't accept and move on with the electoral theft that is glaring. They also insist Kenyans are tired of the unemployment and the corruption in the country. And we are asking our people to be prepared to resist and that process begins today. The Supreme Court is expected to hold a pre-trial conference on the petition come Friday this week and on September 1st, Kenyans will know the outcome of the contested presidential election by NASA coalition. Irene Mwangi, KUTV.